Hello, everybody. My name is Lindsay Brian Podvin. I'm the founder and CEO of Mind Money Balance. And today I wanted to bring on a guest to talk about the more practical side of a, a series of questions that so many people wonder about, which is student loans. For folks who don't know what you do, could you give us a little rundown of what Loan Sense does? We are a tech enabled student loan advisory uh, that basically answers all the questions other financial professionals can't. Mm. We assign to you a highly trained student loan advisor who will walk you through a comprehensive plan that not just helps with your student loans, but can answer the implications of these student loans on other financial decisions, like taking a job, buying a house, what happens to your taxes? What happens if you get married? What is the best time to file? But what the best part of what we do is we not just give you that personalized plan, we help you file and manage your paperwork into the federal programs if you decide that's the best route to take for you. Um, the next two questions are more crystal ball questions. <laughs> These are the ones that everybody wants to know. The first one is, do you think federal student Federal student loan repayments, the pause that's currently on them, will continue beyond the fall of 2021. If you had your crystal ball, what, what's your best guess? So it's not even about my crystal ball. It's that I read student loan policy and news every single day. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what is suge being suggested right now um, from the Department of Ed, as well as the Biden administration, as well as just senators' comments on Twitter and various things, it seems like September, end of September will be the last um, month. September will be the last month of the student loan pause. However, I just want to say here's caveat: if you're really fearful of the upcoming payments after September, if you have been financially impacted by COVID nineteen, or have not been able to get as high of a salary as you had anticipated, you should definitely consider the federal programs because you can extend way lower monthly payments, including down to zero for an additional year based on the current policy that's in place today and get it all counted towards loan forgiveness, especially if you're trying to go towards public service loan forgiveness. I mean, it counts towards regular loan forgiveness as well. So just keep that in mind that if you cannot afford whatever that payment's going to be, there are still options and still hope out there. Don't feel like, oh my God, now I'm going to have to start paying, you know, $700 and I can't afford it. You don't have to, if you really are not in a financial position, it will cause you financial ruin to do that. So just know there are options out there for you, but I unfortunately do not think it's going past September. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's helpful to know that it's, it's your best hypothesis based on all the information that you are, <laughs> are, are gathering. And then the next big, can Catalina tell us her thoughts on question is, will we get blanket student loan forgiveness in the United States? Okay. So I've also obviously been following this a lot because I'm obviously a supporter of student loan forgiveness. Um, However, I don't believe, well, not only do I not believe, the Biden administration has not budgeted any form of forgiveness into the congressional budget, which means he has no plans on giving blanket forgiveness or he would have to budget for it, right? Because it's quite a bit of money. So um, it doesn't even look like the 10,000, before it was 50, now they start talking about 10. It doesn't even look like the 10,000 is going to happen. But here's what I do think may happen. What I, and this is where the crystal ball comes in. <laughs> what I do think may happen is Joe Biden will act very similar. President Biden will act very similar to how President Obama did. President Obama was the president that instituted public service loan forgiveness. So what I do think will happen is um, Biden may work with the Department of Ed secretary to um, actually make the income driven plans more generous at a 5% of quote unquote discretionary income instead of 10 or 15 or 20, depending on the loan to plan type. So you'll be required to pay less each month and it will make the programs, they'll heal, they'll simplify the programs. Mm. So it's not as confusing. Supposedly they'll fund it more so that the monthly requirements for payment are even less and it will give even more forgiveness options 
for public servants specifically, and it will target specific groups of individuals to give more forgiveness towards. And that's what I think this administration will work towards if they work towards anything. It's not going to be just blanket forgiveness. It's going to be a, um, an iterative improvement on what exists. And that's just how government works, right? It all constantly works on how do we iteratively improve. It's very rare that it comes out and it's like universal health care, like everything's changing to in next year. You know, it's it's just rarely that way because there's just so many people to get buy-in from mm -hmm. that it's just hard to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um